Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use transitions in Camtasia 9. Alright, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now, and I'm going to be talking about how to use transitions. So before we even get into the transitions, I'm going to drag this example clip down to track one and it's a little bit of a longer clip so I'll just shorten it and how I do that is I'm gonna click this which is the split tool and then I'll just use a little bit here and then I'll do the split tool again uh, this is a Camtasia 9 tutorial where I'm talking about uh, the green screen effect so if you want to check that out you guys can do do that as well so I'm just gonna make this video clip shorter because it's just an example and I don't need that one that long. So there we go, I have a short piece there. Now let's head over to transitions. So transitions are exactly what they sound like. So it's basically they're used when you are transitioning from one clip or one video or one picture to another. So you can put transitions in between videos, in between pictures, in between a picture and a video, in between a text and a picture or text and a video. You can just put them in between stuff. And when you click on the transitions tab, it's going to show you all of the different kinds of transitions that they have. Now, we generally use one type of transition because we want more of a professional look when we're doing these tutorials. So we use a transition called Fade Through Black. And if you hover over the transition, you can see like a mini thumbnail of what it can do. So that one is a Fade Through Black. This one is just a regular fade, no black. This is a circle stretch. So as you can see, it's kind of like a warp thing. This one does a flip, so it's like a, a, a screen flipping. This one is a fold, so it's kind of like a book. And this one's like a, a scroll, like a rolling scroll. And they have a whole bunch of them all the way down here. So there's lots to choose from. But like I said, when we are doing the tutorials, we like to do fade through black because it's the most seamless and it makes it look more professional. Now, when you can definitely use the stretch circle and things like that, but just know that when you're trying to come across as professional, they kind of look more amateur, in my opinion, because they're over-exaggerated. So they're definitely fun to use when you're doing like a fun project. Like if we're doing like an adventure video and we're not trying to come off as professional and we're trying to come off as fun and silly, then I would use all these other kinds. So I'll show you the first one here and that's the fade through black. So again, like I said, you need to place it in between stuff. So let's just pretend we've got two clips here. I'm going to split this to make a two clips as you can see. So when you are ready to do a transition, you basically grab your transition. In this case, we're doing fade through black and you put it down in between the two clips. And you can see it did this like green thing in between it. Like it's like glue for the two clips. Now I'm just going to just zoom out here and stretch it out so that you guys can see the duration of this fade through black is one second. Now, sometimes that may be too long and you want to shorten that. So basically you hover over with your mouse, press down until it turns like a yellow orangey, and then you can see that I'm shortening it. So now it's less than a second. It's now like 26th of a second. I don't even know what that means, but basically it's a lot less than one second. If you want it to go longer than a second, the fade to go longer, then you would stretch it out like this and you can really get like a long fade. But usually we keep them quite short, one second or less. So let's just put it like there. Now you might find when you're playing the transitions, like when you're playing them from this clip to this clip, that it might be a little bit glitchy and that happens with Camtasia. 
If you want to see more or less what your clip is going to look like, start from the second half so that you can generally see what it looks like and I'll show you what I mean. So here I just did the fade through black, so I'm going to play it from here. So you can see it went from a black to uh, going into color and to me talking. If I play it from here, there is a slight chance that it will glitch out and it will not play properly. So you see that? That's what happens. It just it just happens when you add more effects into Camtasia. But don't worry, when you render the video, it will still show up normally. It's just when you start adding stuff, it gets a little glitchy. So that is basically how you add a transition. Now these transitions are great when you are wanting to move from one clip to another. So a lot of the times we use this like from our intro going into when I start speaking or if like I make a mistake while I'm speaking, I'll cut the clip and it will be like an awkward place for it to just run through and play. But if I add a transition, then it makes it a little bit more seamless and it's more like a little quick pause and then it doesn't seem as awkward to play through because it had that transition. Now let me show you another example of using a different type of transition. So let's say I want to put a transition here. I'm going to highlight this, click the split tool, and then let's add the tacky circle stretch. So let's put that in there so you guys can see. As you can see, it's very extreme. So if you are doing like a professional thing, it does not look as professional. But I'm just going to show you guys for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to click play. So you can see it was like kind of like a virtual time warp there with the circle stretch. And that's how you add the transition. Again, if I don't like it being one second, I can shorten it or I can make it a lot longer. You know, it's all up to you guys. And it's all how, you know, it, it all depends on what kind of projects you guys are working on. If you're doing tutorials, I would suggest that uh, you choose a transition that's a little bit more tame. But if you're doing like fun, silly projects, then, you know, go ahead and use whatever transitions you want. All right, so that was it for this video. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, head down to the description below because I have a ton more free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.